Hey, how's it going everyone? So in this video, I'm gonna be showing you a, an unboxing and a review of the Mobile Pixel Trio Max, I believe is, is the proper name to call it. So uh, this is gonna be a really off the cuff video. It's just, I'm just gonna be ranting about it, talking about it, unboxing it. Um, I'm filming with my iPhone, so it's gonna be a little bit different than my other videos. I'm, those I usually do on a proper digital camera and stationary and I got all the proper lighting. Uh, but this one, I'm just gonna do it on the floor with my iPhone. So I hope you enjoy. Um, this is the Trio Max by Mobile Pixel, or uh, pretty sure it's called Mobile Pixel. I should know that, right? Um, but uh, this is the box that it comes in. This is the latest iteration. I believe there was a version before this. I don't know which one exactly I got, like when this one was released is what I mean. Um, but uh, this is the latest one. I'm just going to open it right up. That's what it looks like. Oh, by the way, I actually got two of them. Yeah, so here's the second one. So when you purchase it online, there's an option to get like a, a dual pack, like for two of them or something like that. Um, I thought it was going to be coming, you know, you know, one box. It was going to be one item. It's actually just, you're just buying two of them. That's all. So uh, when you're online on their website, you know, you might think that you're getting uh, a special item or something. It's just, it's just two of them. You're just buying two if you get the try screen, which, which is why I wanted it. I wanted it to be like three screens, kind of like on the back here, one, two, three. Oh, you know, one more thing I actually did fail to mention that it did come in a bigger box. I don't know why I overlooked this, but it did come in this one box. And in this box, this box contained both of those other boxes. So that was, uh, uh, I missed, I misspoke there when I said it didn't come in like one single unit. It did come in one single unit. I don't even know why I said that. And it has Friday on it. Thank you. Anyway, open this up. And here we go. So setup guide. Here's what it looks like. This is what it looks like here. Um, not much to it. Actually, this is really, really simple. A little bit simpler than the previous model. I know this because I already got one setup right now on my laptop and it's just a little easier to, to put on. This one, you just put it right on, on top of the computer just like you would anything else. And, and that's it. Um, I didn't use these, so I already have it on my laptop, like I said, the other one, and I didn't use this at all, so you might not need to, but um, I strongly recommend that you read all the stuff, you know, disclaimers, blah, blah, blah. What is this? This is the, the goods, so here we are. You know, and I really like that the box, it's like a, it comes in almost like an Apple box, right? Like a, uh, a very MacBook type uh, setup. So here we have this, bring it out, and there it is, that's the monitor. All right, Ooh, let's drop that. Um, and it slides out like so, you just kind of grab it and pull it out. When you pull it out, it's kind of scary. You think if you turn this left or right, you might snap it. It's actually supposed to go like this. So just don't be scared, because I know I was when I pulled it out for the first time, it was, it was kind of giving me a little trouble here. Um, it kind of, it's a little tight. So be aware of that, that's all. Uh, let's see. So that's that. Uh, just the instruction manuals. What's in here exactly? Oh, here. So this is neat. So if you screw up, no big deal. Because all you do, look, check it out. So you put these guys on top of your 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 screen for your laptop. And if you screw up the alignment or anything, no big deal. Take it off, rub it off, whatever. Use another one of these. So that's cool. Um, this is used for snapping multiple monitors on top of each other. I'm probably going to be using this... Uh, you probably only need this if you're on the go or something like that. And this is uh, the part to connect it. Now, I'll already tell you because I, I already put one on my uh, my computer. This is like Dongle City. It kind of gets annoying, especially for the Mac users because if you have a newer Mac, you're using the USB-C. And then you got this guy, like just kind of hanging out. Kind of annoying. I'm not sure I can remove that easily. So it's just hanging out there. I'm not a fan of it. But uh, whatever, you know, the whole thing is kind of like, here's a picture of it, like wires galore. It, it, there's no real clean way to hide the wires, especially up here. I, I don't like that they put it, uh, put the, the wire thing up here. Should have put it somewhere else. But that's that. So that's the whole box. That's everything that's in it. Oh, and I almost forgot there is a few instructions. So a very simple instructions for Mac, like, you know, just like if it's actually plug and play, by the way, I didn't mention that. But as soon as you plug it in. It just turns on, just like that. It turns on, the battery turns on, the power turns on. There's no battery in it, it just uses the battery from your, the power from your computer. But it just turns on, it just starts working right away. So now that that's done, I'll show you what it looks like on my computer. All right, so this is what it looks like on my computer right now. As you see, it looks all right. Check it out, so I can just lift up the cover, no problems, no, you know, and uh, just drop it. 
Close it, you see it's not too big there. It, it does light up when it's on. That's pretty cool, kind of like a Mac. Well, for first things first, this is how it opens. And then when you pull it out, you know, you, you don't have to like line it up here. If you have the previous model, it had to be like lined up here or something like that. This one is like flush, which is great. And to take it out, pull it out, pull the screen out, and there it is, all right? One thing that I do, ooh, let's get that out all the way. One thing that I do not like is that the weight of the screen kind of tilts it the whole thing down a little bit, which is a bummer. I, I want it to be like this, but like this, but you know, it kind of brings it down slightly. I don't like that. And, and it's because there's just a little, see that little give? It's not really great, but it's, it's perfectly fine. It's not that big a deal. Um, here's another really cool thing about the screen though. So let me show you this. You can take it all the way out and then turn it all the way like this. Boom, look at that. And then you can slide that right into place. And look, so now we have this side of the screen and we also have this side. That's pretty cool, right? All right, so I'm a big fan of that, but it gets even better because with the screen, you can also take the whole thing right off. So let, let me set it up. Ooh. Did I just break it? what I do? Oh no, uh-oh. Yeah, that's tricky. It's a little scary, actually. <laughs> You wanna be careful. I, I, I really think that I broke it there for a second. I, might, I just might have, I don't know. All right, so there it is, it's flushed, and check this out. All you gotta do to take it off is just take it right off, and those magnets stay on top. You don't move these mag, oh, and I almost forgot one of the most important things to tell you. This works with a cover, because I have a cover. And you see that the magnets are just large enough to go over this bump right here. So, let me see if you can see that well on the camera. See what I mean? So the magnets are tall. So this is not uh, obstructing it. So that's a really good thing. If you have a case and you don't want to remove the case like I do, that's great. Um, here's another real, really cool thing that I like about the screen. So let's open this up. Check this out. How cool is that? How cool is that? Yeah, so to orient it properly, you need to go into the settings. Let's see if we can do that together right now. Let's see, arrangement, uh, let's go to this screen. I think, yeah, this is this one. You see I'm clicking it, it's turning on. Uh, we wanna keep it here, but let's flip it. How do we flip it? Mirror, I don't wanna mirror it. Mirroring is uh, making the same thing on both screens, which is great if, you want, if you're trying to show someone what you're looking at uh, on the other side of the screen. Oh, I think I figured it out. It's actually over here on this screen, let's see. Uh, rotation, here we go. And this is this is really tricky. I have to like, it's almost like doing it upside down. 270, here we go. That should do it. Perfect, so now look at this. Now, this is really awesome. Uh, let's try this for the first time here. So I'm just gonna go to whatever, this website, drag it all the way to the other side. Uh, let's resize this one. And then let's go to inspector. This is really what I want. This is exactly why you would want something like this. So you can see all your code on the on the side. This is great. I'm a big fan of this. So that's one way to use this screen. And the last thing that I want to mention is that you can go up to here and adjust things like the brightness. Uh, so let's see if we can do that. Uh, this is kind of annoying because, well, I guess I guess the um, you know we changed the orientation of the screen, but not on the hardware of the device itself. So. I guess we'd have to kind of just tilt our heads, but you can see here that we have brightness, contrast, saturation, temperature, temperature, eye care mode. I have that up, I have that up, and I reset all the settings. Not a whole lot of settings, but that's fine. I turned the brightness all the way up because I typically have my brightness up all the way up, and I just want it obviously to match. If I really wanted to match, I'd turn this one a little bit down. And you know, that's kind of it. Like the, uh, the contrast I turned up slightly and the, and the saturation I turned up slightly because I felt like the colors were a little too dim on this one. But that's it guys, um, I am going to be putting the other monitor. All right, so this is an example of what your setup could ultimately potentially end up looking like. This is not the way that I'm gonna set, up, set it up. I'm gonna change it around, I'm gonna move this one differently. But you can just see the, the variety of, of ways, things that you can do with this. And again, they're very lightweight, you know, you can move them around, drag them around your desk any way you want. So 
uh, really awesome. This is exactly the solution that I was looking for uh, when I was looking for monitors. I was thinking of getting a big monitor, but I'm a, I'm a laptop kind of person, and if I leave the house, you know, and I don't have that monitor with me, it's like, well, why did I get it? I mean, I'm always on the move. I'm always mobile. So this is the perfect, perfect setup for me because I can take these monitors with me in my backpack and set them up on the laptop. So that's that. Hey there, so I just want to make one more note um, about contrast. Something really interesting that I just noticed about the screen. So you can see here that I have, um, a there's a website that I worked on and I have this area and this area. You see that there's they're different colors. There's a contrast between them. But when I bring them over to the monitor, there is almost no contrast whatsoever. It's extremely light. The line is actually right here, but you can probably barely see that or barely tell. So uh, one way to fix that is by just dropping the contrast. Um, I had it set to 60 and I had to bring it down to 50 um, just to show you what it looks like when you get it out of the box. And then if we keep dropping it just a little lower, oh, here's the button, uh, you drop it a little lower. Oh no, that's a brightness. Oops, click this button, middle button and bring that down. And you can see that it's this contrast starts getting a little bit more defined. So, unfortunately, I don't want the contrast to be so low, like 30, that's, that seems to me pretty low, but it just might have to do it to be able to see uh, accurately. So now you can see that there is the line on this uh, website right there, and you can see there's a line on the website right here. So if you're seeing some issues with contrast, maybe try turning it down on the monitor. Another thing that I like to mention is that, um, you know, it, it looks like it can take a lot of your USB space. I have one, two, three, four USB-C uh, here. And this one's going to the this monitor, and this one is going to this monitor, of course, and this is my keyboard. And my computer's actually charging from up here. So, you know, you can still charge uh, your computer through this and it won't take up all of your uh, cable, your ports, your, yeah, you get what I'm saying. Another question that you probably might be asking is what's the refresh rate like on these monitors, right? So if you're doing something on this monitor, how annoying is it gonna be? Uh, oh, that's cool, look at that. I love this, look, look, look how seamless that is. That is just so awesome. This is what you can do with this monitor, isn't that cool? So anyway, um, how uh, seamless is the experience going to be when you're watching a video? So let's check out this video. I'm going to grab this guy, bring him right over, and let's click play and see what happens. Fund manager to share the secrets of the stock market with us because I sure don't know what the hell I'm doing. He's a finance professor. Listen, he's got multiple books on the subject. That's pretty good. And he's a YouTuber. Coffee, Welcome, coffee, coffee, you're doing good here. <laughs> you're, you're looking good. Well, and look hi, at that. The colors are good. Now listen, good. It's, it's obvious these it's are legit. dark. Um, it's not a horrible refresh rate or anything. Time. It's looking Inflation really decent. Um, very comparable to my MacBook monitor. So if you were wondering what it looks like, that's what it looks like. All right, that's all I got for today. Thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed this, click subscribe and hit the like button so other people can see this content if they're looking for it as well.